So one of the most unnerving things about a hammered gun, which is something I normally don't buy, but we got this SR-22, is that they have a decocker. And the question I always like to ask, is it to cock or decock? So I have a loaded magazine, with just with two rounds in it, just to kind of prove something. So you take it, you cycle it. So now she's loaded and ready to go. But obviously we want to be able to pack it without having the hammer back. So if you strike the or engage the safety, the hammer will fly forward. And this is one of the most unnerving things about a decocker for me is that you go like this and then you cringe because you think it's going to go bang, but it didn't. So now she's back, back ready for red, you're dead. Pull the hammer back. It engages. She's ready to go. So like, that's always one of the things about, you know, decockers that are kind of ner unnerving is that you grab that safety and you let her rip and it doesn't fire, you know, SIGs, uh, what else has decockers? SIGs, the Ruger, some Rugers, FNs, HKs, they have a decockers. And obviously they do, they do their job because of a hammer bar that when you engage a safety, there's a bar in the way of the hammer before it hits the pin. So that makes it safe, but it's always a really unnerving feeling to take it, have a hammer, hammered gun, have the hammer ready to go fired, chambered, and hit the safety, and that hammer just flies forward. But, you know, that's really what you do. So it's basically cock or decock. All right, guys, thanks. Have a good day.